Rushmore Painting Decorating. Today we're doing a product review for the Trade Decorator TV. Before we get started, if you like anything that we have done in the past, then subscribe to the channel and then obviously you'll be able to see everything we do uh, on a regular basis. And also any future reviews, hit the notification button so that anything that does um, get released you'll be notified of immediately. So today we're going to be talking about the Indasa Rhino Soft Pads here, which are a foam-backed, one-sided sanding pad. And I'm going to give you three things about these pads that I really like. The first thing I really like is that they contour really well to a surface. So if you're sanding down a banister, some spindles, a door frame, or a bit of skirting board, the moulded profile of those um, areas can be a bit challenging to sand down sometimes, but with these pads, they mould really well to that profile. One thing I really like about them in particular is um, for use between coats. So because they mould really well to the profile, you don't find they remove a lot of the previous paint and they don't expose a lot of bare wood. They're really gentle and can get a really nice smooth finish without being too harsh on the surface. So that's one thing I really like about them. I'm going to show you a little video now of me sanding down this section of door frame. Uh, I'm just going to bring the camera closer and you'll be able to see how well it um, moulds to the profile. Just showing you now how well the Indasa Rhino Soft pads contour around this door frame. Um, I'm currently denibbing this and using a 240 grit and it goes around all of the curved sections really well and also gets into this area here um, relatively well. If it doesn't do so when you're doing it like that you can just fold it up like a regular piece of sandpaper and it will get right into those, those areas there. What I like about these is because they're flexible, uh, they don't end up removing too much of the, the primer exposing lots of areas of bare wood. The second thing I really like about these pads is that the grip lasts a very long time. Unlike traditional sanding pads, um, which I've had experience with in the past, where you're sanding down something and all the grit, all the, you know, the glass or the sand is just falling off um, onto the floor down below and then you're left with areas that are just completely useless. With these, they um, obviously when you're using it, it does wear down, but this bit of pad here I've had for a long time now, um, been using it for uh, pretty much this entire hall, hallway down here, and the grit has become a lot finer, but it hasn't actually come off, so the grit stays on there and becomes it's still usable for a long time. The third thing I really like about them is that they don't break up like traditional sandpaper, um, you know, like the cardboard back sandpaper. When you fold it multiple times, eventually it just splits in half and then again and then again and you end up with all these little bits of sandpaper which obviously becomes very frustrating. So there's three things I really like about them. Um, the price point as well is obviously a, a, a good thing. Um, for a pack of 20 you're looking at around eight to nine pounds, uh, maybe 10 depending on where you're buying them from. So you know at the most they're going to be 50p a sheet which you know the fact they last a long time um, is very very um, very cheap uh, for the quality so they're really good. Um, overall out of 10 I'm going to give them a solid 10 out of 10. I can't want for any more from them. They do exactly what they're supposed to. Um, I'm really impressed with them and now they're an integral part of my painting decorating arsenal. So um, yeah solid 10 out of 10 for the Indasa Rhino Soft Pads. Um, if you liked that review of those uh, Rhino Soft Pads then hit the like button, comment, let us know what you think if you, if you have used them before. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel and as I said before hit the uh, bell button so you get notified of any uh, reviews we do in the future. Um, Rushmore Painting Decorating which is my company can be found on all social media platforms they'll all be on the screen now and also if you want to check out Trade Decorator on any other social media platforms then all the details will be on the screen now as well. Uh, thanks for watching, hope you liked it.